Hey Commander players, it's EK or EDH Edutainer, and this is the first of many gameplay videos to be featured on this channel. This game has haymakers, explosive plays, and awesome value engines, plus some of my favorite people to play Commander with. With that said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more video. Now let's meet our players. PJ aka Commander Replay is playing his signature Gigantha Tapping Tribal deck. Every creature in the deck has a tap ability. Voiden is playing his heavily modified Cephrus Reanimator deck, and this is most definitely not the precon. Draco is playing his Prismatic Grip Praetor's deck, and I'm playing my Samut Primal Surge deck. The 99 consists of 98 permanents plus Primal Surge. There's a deck tech video about the list if you're interested, so check that out after this. All the deck lists are in the video description below, and with the intro out of the way, let's get into the game. Right. Go ahead. Oh, that's okay. a that's just a grow. Uh -oh. I'll play a Forest gotcha. and a Finhorn Elves and pass. I'm going to play a Windswept Teeth, uh, lose one, and get myself a Hollow Fountain tap. Fastest magic player this side of the Mississippi. I actually, I mean, I lied. It's not going to be a Hollow Fountain. It's going to be Pressure. the Checkland. I'll draw, and I'm going to fetch with a Verdant, and I'll pass. When you Something. play an events and you have to play up against the timer. Yeah. Whisper of the Wilds. Go ahead. Okay. Let's play a Command Tower. Tap two and play Survival of the Oh. Uh, I'll pass from there. And obviously I'm not. Pass my turn. I'm going to fetch with a Misty. I'll fetch a Teamer Trial. I'll pass. I'm going to play a Battlefield Forge for Archivist. I'll play a Spire Garden. And then tap three and play Prowling Server Park. So I have an I have a response. Can't be countered. I have an answer. Uh, we're gonna arcane denial. Though. Can't be countered. It cannot be done. I just leaked information. Uh, that's my turn. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we'll play a Phyrexian tower. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. play an unmarked grave. I'll search my library for non legendary card and put that card in my graveyard. But we're gonna go with Mold Drifter, I think. Yeah, Mold Drifter pass. Nah, I still gotta do the fun play. Always. Uh, I'm gonna shock in a temple garden, green white, whatever else, and I'm gonna play Zawala. Oh yeah, this game's gonna hey. be really fun. Oh, I'll pass. Man, now I feel bad grabbing the mole drifter for grave and trying to like. <clears throat> uh, go ahead, PJ. Uh, let's play a forest, and then I'll just cast my card. Sweet. I will draw a card, and then I will pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I will app the elves to activate survival. PJ, I hope we're still friends after I do this. I'm gonna pitch an Aurelia of the War Leader. That can't Rude. be good. This is right in front of me and it's really pretty and I just put it in the deck and I wanna try it. I'm gonna grab a Beast Whisper. I'm gonna play a Windswept Heath and tap and crack it. Uh, with that four mana, I'm just gonna play the, um, the Beast Whisper. Uh, well, I'm also going to attempt to find a land. We're okay. gonna cast a Persist, returning mm. a Mole Drifter. Oh, is oh, yeah. this not what you meant by finding a land? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I thought you, I thought you were gonna fetch as well. Nah, I think we're okay. I'll play an island. I mean, never punished, right? No, obviously not. Uh, never. And then pass my turn. I'll draw. Parlay. All right, so I get three green. I'll use the three green. This is getting a blue and a black. And let's play Garuda. Okay. Uh, we're going to mana drain that. Oh. Damn. I'd like to borrow some mana. I'm sorry. Not to be the fun police. <laughs> but, uh, that's a, that's a bit, g given the amount I, of I, like high profile permanence in all of our decks, I feel like that's a very yeah. smart thing to do. There's it, a lot of creatures fine. in my deck. I mean, that's all I got. Fair, Go ahead. I also reanimated a mold drift. <laughs> yeah. So. I mana drained it. Tap the Gantha, get a counter, play Garth. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a very good card for this deck now. Yeah, you can actually run it as the commander. Uh, we'll try this Mirari's Wake. Man, why do I yeah. not have enough counter spells for everything? <laughs> 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 well, if you had mana up, I wouldn't be playing that one. Yeah, I, th I, I think that's... Yeah, I, I get it, I that, get it. That's the right yeah, time to yeah. play it. Uh, that Archivist, draw a card, add a counter. And I will pass my turn. On tap, keep, draw for turn. I feel like I need to put like the brakes on this game real quick. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, mountain. Don't know what you're God, there's just a there's just a board wipe waiting to happen, so I feel like I can't commit to the board. I'll uh, I'll tap one. I'm gonna pitch Regal Behemoth to Survival of the Fittest. Yeah. What in the hell? Oh, 
Oh, I reveal. I'm gonna grab Recruiter of the Guard. I will play said Recruiter of the Guard. I will draw off the Beast Whisper on the cast trigger. Again, I feel like everybody's having shenanigans go on, and I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I gotta put my hand up and say, no, stop, wait, please. Uh, so I will, yeah, I'll, I'll draw a card off the Beast Whisper, and then I will uh, go grab a card with power, or sorry, with toughness two or less. I'll just grab Steve. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna pay two, and I'm gonna cast that Steve. So I will, yeah. I will draw a card off the Beast Whisper. Uh, and then I'll pass from there. <laughs> well, we'll pay, we'll pay three first. Uh, we'll play Sephiris. That seems good. Okay, now we'll go down to four, and then we're gonna plane cycle. Ooh. Oh, I know, I know what's going on. Angel of the Ruins? Oh, not oh, the yeah, one I thought fun. you would. I thought it was gonna be the uh, Eternal Drake. Yeah, we're gonna get a Hollow Fountain and play the Hollow Fountain. That's an ouch for me, dog. And then we'll venture into the dungeon because a uh, creature went to the graveyard this turn. We're gonna go into the only one that ever really matters, which is the Lost Mine. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys like speedrunning dungeons because that's my plan. Sack my Mold Drifter for double black, black and four. Unburial Rites, bring back Angel of the Ruins. Yeah, that seems good. I'll leave a black floating. We're gonna exile Mirari's Wake and we're gonna exile uh, Survival of this. For my black floating, we're gonna play a Torturing Existence and pass. The smart thing would be to parlay. Arcane Denial. Ruinous Ultimatum. Birthing Pod. Uh oh. Lightning Graves. All right, four and four. This yeah. seems bad. Guess we'll go for the bridge. Fetch with a Prismatic Vista. I'll get a white and play a Saffy. Ooh. And then I'll lose the two green and pass turn. Drop a turn. Suddenly, PJ's turn is ever so slightly less scary without the Marari's way. Exactly. Yeah, uh, okay, so tapping this deck is like taking a math test every time, but here we go. I mean, you're you're about to make Black Lotuses, so I don't know what you're talking about. Right? Uh, tap Gigante, get a counter, cast a Marike. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, that's really good. Red, colorless, colorless, I think, for Fervor. Oh, there's, no. there's the haste. Found it. <laughs> tap Archivist, put a counter, draw a card. Then tap this for two. Tap this one for one. Thousand Year Elixir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, sweet. Taste, uh, tap tap this for a Black Lotus. Yeah, that seems good for now. I'll, uh, <laughs> on your end stuff, I'm gonna sack Steve. Look at my hand and see what the hell I need. What the heck saves me? Uh, the Ruinous Ultimatum that he drew? Yes, ex exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I need uh, you guys to commit a few more things first. Hey, let me know when you untap, by the way. Uh, untap. Okay, all my creatures untap. Uh, upkeep, draw for turn. I'm supposed to start with this. I'm gonna lose two life, and then let's do one, two, three. Play the Birthing Pod. Oh, play that Mana Crypt. Tap the Mana Crypt uh, using one of the colorless, and I'll take another two to activate the Birthing Pod. I'm gonna pitch the Recruiter of the Guard to the Birthing Pod and grab a four drop. And see if there's a four drop that saves me that PJ doesn't immediately want to steal. Uh, I'll grab Oracle of Moldaya. That seems like a real good one to steal. Mm -hmm. I don't want to steal that one. <laughs> I want to steal that one. I would, if, yeah. I could, if I could do it, I would do it. So I have a Misty on the top of my library. See, like, the worst part about this is, is that if I'm like, hey, guys, I can deal with this, just don't let me die. You're still probably going to die to whatever's going I'm on. I'm still over there. probably going to die. So yeah. maybe maybe I have to make like friends with PJ and be like, PJ, don't Marike my stuff, please. Yeah. Best friend, I'm, new best I'm, friend. I'm open for deals. I can make deals all day with this uh, deck. I'm going to play the Misty off the top of my library and reveal a uh, Cosmic Pusher of Truth. Oh Yo, my. that's a real good one to oh, steal. That's good. Oh my. That's like oh. one that you steal in a pack. Uh, yeah. I'm going to sack the Misty. Uh, that's a primal that's surge on the top of my library. Oh, sh oh. Okay. Uh -uh. Uh, oh, you found it. I, I, I did. Uh, I don't have a way to cast it, though. That's a problem. I'm going to make you guys fight amongst yourselves to see who is the bigger problem, me or PJ. <laughs> and I'll cast Wilderness Reclamation. <laughs> Put that on the stack. If that resolves, I will pass. Sounds mm -hmm. like there's a lot of problematic per uh, permanents on the field, so... Uh... Okay, you're moving to your end step? Yes. Okay. 
At your end step, I'm gonna draw a card. On my end step, I will untap my lands. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, I'm going to Marike your Prowling Serpapod. Sure. It'll die in a second, you can put it to the graveyard. And then I'm gonna cast, I'm gonna use green green and white from this to cast a Congregation at Dawn. Oh, good card. Uh, I'm gonna That's go awesome. search for three creatures. All right, I got my three creatures. Uh, we got Niv Mizzet, Jace's Archivist, and Mother of Runes. I will pass after that and untap my things. Yeah, so Serpapard will go to the graveyard. Uh, I'll untap, discard an Ashen Rider yeah. to mm -hmm. Tortured Existence, bring back a Mold Drifter to my hand, full venture into the dungeon. I'll create a treasure token. Uh, crack my treasure token. Uh, cast on Burial Rates. Grabbing back Ashen Rider. You get to destroy, or sorry, exile a permanent. Exile correct? a permanent. So first things first is that I feel like Oof. Mareki's a bad time. So ETB on the stack, targeting Mareki to exile it. Yeah, I'll probably respond to that. How much mana do you have left? I have double black on Phyrexian Tower. I'll Marike your commander. I'll respond by using Phyrexian Tower to sack Ashen Rider. Okay. To exile your Garth. Activate Garth to disenchant the tortured existence. Thousand Year Elixir, Marike, uh, Angel of Wounds, I guess. Okay. So Marike gets exiled, and then I'm just gonna draw a card. Continue. I'll use that two mana to play a perpetual time piece in house. I'll go to untap. Untap. And I'll have a bridge trigger. So let's see what the first card That's an Elish Norn. Oh boy. That, that's an Elish oh. Norn on the table, correct? That's an Elish Norn from the bridge trigger. So I will lose Oracle and Finhorn Elves, and I have a 0-1 Beast Whisper. So I guess we'll go for a parlay. Uh, Primal Surge. Okay. To, fairy, to Fairy's Protection. That's a very good Fire answer splashes. to Primal Surge. Ooh. I'm going to use two of the Floating Four and play Bag of Tricks. I didn't draw nearly enough of that Archivist before it died. <laughs> Sorry. Only only four <laughs> cards, right? Uh, Something like that. Four, four or five? Uh, I kind of feel like you got a fair bit. I'm going to tap it like flat. <laughs> And I'm going to fetch last Triome for the Indantha. So basically everything that I did in here was fetch the forest, and mm -hmm. every land besides basic and shocks are all forest fetchable that seems, duels. That seems reasonable. Like, I focused on the green just to be able to land fix and be able to play all the stupid stuff. Sounds about right. And I'll do bag of tricks. So I roll a d8, and then we'll reveal from the top of the library until I hit whatever is equal to the number that I roll. And that's an 8. I know they dropped, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when- That's a boring place, voice of hunger. No. Oh no. Oh. Well, there's a good thing that there's a ruinous ultimatum. There is a Safi, though. Uh. There's a what? There's a Safi Eric. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so he'll be able to protect one of his creatures. Uh, these go on the bottom in a random order. I think I've done enough bullcrap this turn, so I'll pass. What a group. See if I can use my mana properly this turn. Activate Giganta. Use Jeskai for Jeskai Ascendancy. Then this to Thousand Year Elixir the Giganta. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, Black Lotus. <Lotus's. laughs> there we go. Sacrifice the right. Black Lotus. Okay, so white, black, black, red, and I think we have to go triple red on the Lotus. This one. And Rune Assault Uh On cast, that'll trigger Jeskai Ascendancy. I guess I'll respond by milling myself, too. I have uh, no, I have no lands. Arcane Denial? What? Ooh. That is not good. That is, that is well, very not good. It. Yeah. I like my Praetors. If I would have tapped for it, it would have just a Fairy's Protection, but I did that wrong, so, you know. We didn't need to Fairy's Protect? Didn't leave the white untapped, because I play magic badly. Actually, we'd still have red floating. Mm -hmm. so triple red over there, so... Oh. Be a red left over, a red left over. Perfect. Oh, tap please tell me this is a Power Blast. Uh, that... Yeah, I think that's all I got. Go ahead. EK, I'll ping you for one and draw a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will happily take the one. Hey, I forgot all about the Primal Surge. I should have countered that. Well, that was worth it just to make this a headache. I will attempt a Primal Surge. Can we talk about the fact that if EK does Primal Surge and he doesn't win, he's time-blocked? Yeah. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all, all the lands are boring. Well, he's also got Wilderness Reclamation, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that'll that get you past the so, Never mind. There's the 10. Here's a Primal Surge. I mean, is it your whole library? Is it your whole deck? The whole deck will flip over, so it's just a matter of what the order things flip into. And because of Elish Norn making things smaller or not stick at all, a lot of the math changes.
here's where things start to matter now that we've seen the terror. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything after this will start doing damage. It'll deal double because of Gisela. There's not that much of the library left. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> hold on, question for you. Because what you'll do is you'll put all those triggers on the stack and you'll biorhythm us first. You have enough where you can just start revealing creatures. If you have more than one creature that lives... It's the creatures that come in after is the problem. So, like, I put a Dockside in, but the Dockside has zero attacks, so Terror is going to deal zero. Elish Norn will counteract. There's your counter buff. Yep, yeah. so there you go. You're all set. There it is. Now you just flip it. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ding the bell icon, and help me fight the evil algorithm overlords and the control players by liking this video and leaving a comment. And I'll catch you next time.